What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mega menu using Elementor. So let me just go ahead and um, minimize my screen here. Okay so the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, head over to your dashboard and we're going to need to install uh, a plugin. So go to plugins and then you're going to need to install this plugin, plugin right here. It's called Elements Kits Lights Light. Um, so let me just view the details. So it's this plugin right here. You'll rec you'll recognize it um, when you uh, when you search for it. Um, so go ahead and install and activate that. And then once you've done that, um, you're gonna head over to your header. And if you don't know how to create a header, um, I do have a bunch of tutorials on on pretty much how to do that. I have like four of them. Um, so make sure to check those out and then you can just go ahead and come back and uh, we can get started. So um, depending if you're using Elementor Pro and you're, you have you know a built-in um, uh, what's header, you can use Elementor Pro with the theme builder or you can use Elements Kits um, uh, theme builder as well. You can also do a header and footer. Um, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and actually use... Um, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use Elements Kits instead. So you can use um, Elementor Pro and then just use the headers. That's fine. Um, so just go ahead and add your, your header there. And if you already have it, then I'll show you what to do there. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and activate this one on the entire website. Um, and then I'm gonna click Edit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the content in here. Okay. Um, so now we just need to add our, our header and for most of you, you may already have your header in. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one here. Um, I'm going to actually add, let's see, I'm going to click on headers here and I'm just going to add one of their default headers there. Now, in case you already have one pre-made, I'm just going to pretend that, you know, I don't have a menu here. Basically, you're just going to have to search for menu. And you are gonna have to use um, Elements Kits uh, Nav Menu widget that they provide, and you're just gonna add that in there. And I do have a video on customizing this as well, so I'm gonna move that to the right, and then I'm gonna click Menu. So if you do want to learn how to customize this, uh, definitely go ahead and check out that video. Um, so now I'm just gonna save this, and now we're gonna go back to our. Um, our menus here so we're gonna to go to appearance and menus and then you're gonna to want to you're gonna to want to enable the mega menu and then click save save menu and then now as you can tell if you hover over it you can see that there's a mega menu on there so um, we're gonna start with our home page and you're just gonna click on this mega menu here and we're gonna to want to enable it and you're gonna to want to click on um, you can click save and then just click on edit mega menu here and then this is just for our home tab right so when they hover so when they hover over um, the home page they're gonna they're gonna look at this okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab um, some footer content because usually the footer content kind of goes with um with with the mega menu so you can just grab anything from here it's just an example of what you want to do with it um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually build something pretty generic, and then I'll use the templates. But you can use those from it, from um, uh, from Elements Kits as well. So just add a section. You know, you can go ahead and add that. Add those three sections, and then I don't know if you're gonna add an image. Let's say this is for products, and you just want to have three products listed, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and have this product here, and this would probably be more for my uh, for my shop when people hover over shop. But hey, you know, um, just this is just an, an example, right? Um, so, and then we could just we can add the name of the product. But just for this purpose, I'm gonna shrink. I'm gonna just uh, make the text a little smaller there, and I'm gonna go to style. And yeah, I'm just gonna adjust this text here. And same thing with Elementor. I've used Elementor before. Um, you can just adjust it, adjust it that way. Um, there we go. And then I'm just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. you know what yeah I mean I could I could just add another one here another one there and I think you'll get the gist of it but you know what let me go ahead and add something different here 
So, sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, so I'm gonna add a title here, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose. Um, okay, so I would uh, let's see here. I would type in. Go ahead and type in list if you're following along. Along, and uh, you can just add a list there, right? And if, like I said, if you know how to use um, if you know how to use Elementor, then you kind of know how to style this. So you could just go in here, add your icons, whatever, whatever those may be, or you can even remove the icons, right, and just have a list of things. You know, you can have a certain um, this 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 could just be a category up here, right? Um, I don't know what it may be, but uh, I don't know. I'm just honestly do not really know what to put there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink that text. Um, yeah, and then and then over here maybe maybe you just want to have a video. You know, you can also just have just have a video as well, um, and then make sure the background of this. Make sure you make this white. And then go ahead and um, let's go ahead and head to our our home page here. Now, if we were to hover this, you can kind of see that we have a me a mega menu there, right? It's not the best. Does not look the best. Actually, this text is way too big, um, so I'm probably going to just shrink this a little bit. If I shrink it like this, this text is also way too big. Um, so I'm going to shrink this also. Now, instead of going back and forth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another tab here, and I'm going to add this one in here, and I'm going to remove this instead. And we'll just, we'll just go ahead and refresh that there. Okay, so there we go. That's all set there. That is pretty important, in my opinion. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and edit this. Now, like I said, for this one, what I would do is just grab some templates just to make this a lot easier. Um, let me grab a cool one here. It's kind of slick. Um, I think this one's kind of slick. Oh, it's a pro version, pro version, pro version. There you go, this one will work. So just think of it this way. You can, this, I mean, a lot of people tend to have these as mega menus as well. I mean, they kind of look like footers. Um, I'd probably just adjust the height on this. Definitely don't want the height to be that large here. Um, there we go. I'd probably maybe I'll do twenty on this one. Twenty on this one. And if you guys do want to know how to make an Instagram feed, I also I also have a video on that. Okay, so in order to make the width larger, um when people hover over this, uh, which you could actually leave it around this size, but I mean, this size is kind of small, right? We wanna we wanna uh, make the width a little bit larger, at least I would as well. Um, so what you would want to do is go ahead and click on this section here, um, and you'd wanna turn this into full width, and then um, go ahead and just leave it at the box. Uh, but I would actually suggest going into style and then um, if you do have it as a white background, make sure the background is transparent and then just make this um, Make the actual section here make this white instead You're gonna probably have to make every single one white or you can just add a, a, a Column and then add them in there, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just to be honest. I'm just gonna make it all white um, It's fine. It works as well. Um, sorry And then we could just kind of go from there but you could have just um, added a column within a column. So could do that as well. So now if we were to go ahead and um, update this and refresh this part here, uh, we probably see that it's larger now, you see? So you could just go ahead and adjust that. Um, go back in here to box. You can adjust it even more if you wanted to make it larger, smaller, you know, whatever you want, basically. Um, that's how you would go about doing it. Let me go ahead and refresh this now. And it's pretty much the exact same concept um, for this one as well. Um, just do the exact same thing. That's pretty much how I would go about doing it. So again, 
just make sure that it's uh, full width and then you can just start adjusting it and then just make sure your your um, your uh, columns here are have a, a background on them and uh, you should be good to go um, so yeah guys I hope you guys found this video helpful um, if you guys did make sure to subscribe because I'm definitely gonna be coming out with more um, more videos on Elementor and if you guys haven't viewed any of my uh, recent videos make sure to check those out they actually are pretty interesting I pretty much show you how to build this um, this website from scratch and this is a product sales page and it does go straight to the checkout you can click on this buy now and and go straight to the checkout so it's really s seamless um, you can use this you can use this sort of layout for any product and just change the colors around you know um, so I'll definitely be um, definitely be uploading a video on that soon if it's not out already um, so yeah uh, hopefully this did help you guys out and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching